So I have a project loaded here from a podcast that I produce at my local church. And the first keyboard shortcut that'll help you speed up your workflow is hitting the space bar for play. So if you click the space bar on the timeline, it'll start playing. And as it just keeps going, you, you can hit it again and it'll stop. So that's the first keyboard shortcut you need to know because you're gonna jump back and forth trying to make your video play and then stop it and just listen to you know that section or see what you've done in the edit. You wanna be able to use the space bar every time you do this and not actually have to come up here and click the play and, and stop button. You don't wanna do that, use the space bar. All right, the second one would be to use the blade tool, which is the shortcut B. And as you can see, it just switched from the pointer right here to the blade, which is right here. So using B will allow you to, wherever you are, you can see this red line on the timeline. It's going to cut your footage wherever you're at. So if I wanted to cut right here, I could click it. It's gonna make a cut, I can make a cut, make a cut, make a cut. And that's how you can go through and quickly cut the section of the video that you want, put it together, delete what you don't want, and you just use the blade tool every time. Remember, keyboard shortcut B. All right, that immediately brings me to the third keyboard shortcut is how do you get back from the blade tool to the select one? You don't wanna to have to go up here and click this little arrow, so the shortcut key is A. So when you click A, it's gonna go right back to be able to drag and move your clips around without cutting them. So that'll quickly get you back from the blade tool. All right, the fourth shortcut is the snap toggle. So that is in on your keyboard. If you notice on my screen, if I'm dragging this around, it snaps to certain areas. You can see that gray line snapping to different footage or different layers on the timeline, like it's snapping to these edges up here. If I click in, it's going to untoggle the snap. So now I can just glide it across anywhere in the timeline and it doesn't snap to any other footage at all. And then if I click in again, it enables it. Again,